when motherfuckers be like, oh, you crazy or oh, you fucked up. No, motherfucker, you don't know why the fuck I act like this. You don't know why I act like this because you don't know the story. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know how I was traumatized or how I took certain shit. You feel me? Well, let me show y'all. This ain't even half of the shit I gotta put back. I'ma just give you a skim through real quick. Y'all like the color? Hey! Yeah! Look, 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 look! Look, my little shy. Ah. Yeah, look, glitter, boom. So, I finished up halfway a little bit. I still got a gang of shit to go, but don't try. Hey, gang in here! What's pep? See, we've been working on the house. The full tour is gonna be on the main channel, but right now, tap in with Mama Dukes. What's popping? Mm -hmm. Look at all that shit I gotta put back. All the, and this ain't even half of the shit. Like real shit. I bought me some new shoe boxes. <laughs> I got these from Amazon, y'all. I like these better than my old ones. I got some old ones too. But anywho, what I'm gonna do today is go ahead and put my shoes back, and I'm gonna put them in order and shit. But let me show y'all. This ain't even half of the shit I gotta put back. I got so much shit to put away. I'ma just give you a skim through real quick. Y'all like the color? Hey, yeah. Look, 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 my little shy. Ah. Yeah, little glitter, little, little, little glitter, little bit. No, you may say I'm too grown, but I don't give a fuck. I like bling bling shit. I like my shit just to pop. But come on, y'all, walk through one time. See my fucking window, dirty as fuck, from punk ass dogs. I love them, but they've been fucking jumping up there, so I gotta wash that shit. But look, I still got all this shit. It was not a lot of shit, but once I get done, once I start in there and then come in here, and then I still got all of this shit going on in the fucking room. Except for Dave's bathtub, I'm putting that bitch in the garage. <laughs> Then we got another free room. I don't know if y'all been watching the channel, but if you ain't tap the fuck in, we're playing with us on the plate. Tez moved downstairs. Y'all seen the shit I had in my room and that side room. Then I got all of this shit to put away. Oh. I just took these off the hangers because I'm going to put them on these hangers right here. So, and organized shit. These is my jeans. Like, oh my gosh. And down here in Georgia, I ain't wore not one pair of fucking jeans because it's so fucking hot. I, these motherfuckers just going in the back of the closet. I might sell them. Tell me, y'all, would y'all buy the truck or the miss me if I do a little store? You already know. Okay, y'all, I'm going to show y'all my bathroom a little later. But right now, we're about to get into it. For the most part, I'm going to be organizing them, putting them together. Shit, I'm going to put the J's with the J's, the Chucks with the Chuck. First pair I got is these fours. I'm going to leave these by themselves because I think these is the only ones I got. For real, for real. What y'all been up to though? Chilling? Me? Just straight West Coasting. y'all i'm tapping in again i had to tap back in with a little bit of story time y'all already know what's up y'all like my hair let me see it is long i like this long shit tell me what you think drop a comment below and let me know i wanted to go ahead and chime in and pick up where the fuck i left off at on the last motherfucking story time okay drop some comments some questions what you got and yeah i fulfill you on what you want to know baby so yeah I moved to Colorado, and I was living with my Amy, okay? When I moved out to Colorado, I moved to a city called Denver, okay? Denver was popping like a motherfucker. I was living over there by Stapleton. I moved to an area called Park Hill, over there off of 36 and Light, and if you know, hey. So anyways, I lived over there for a minute, and I went to an element, mm, not elementary, I'm tripping. I want to say like a, was it eighth grade, maybe? Eighth grade, something like that, I wanna say. Between seventh and eighth grade, I can't remember the exact the fuck. But I went to play middle school, duh, motherfucker. I went to place middle school, okay? And then 
my life really started. I went to Place Middle School. I also went to George Washington High School. And then I also went to East High School. Yes, a bitch was going through it, but I did not finish nobody's school until I got to motherfucking Decatur. And that's where the kids go that get pregnant. So yes, it was a process through that. When I got here, Just when I met from, and damn bitch, when I got to Colorado, I was, remember, I was pregnant. So I had to go through the abortion. I had to see weed abortion. Stayed with my aunt. At this time, my auntie was running foster care and whatnot. To me, I felt like she was mean. And what I mean by mean is like, she didn't really fuck with me too much. You kind of get what I'm saying? She made a couple of statements to me. We'll go into that another day. But she was just kind of mean a little bit. Now, I moved in to a room. Um, it was three rooms upstairs, including the bathroom. And my cousin stayed there with her kids. At this time, I want to say, I think she had two, one on the way, I think, at this time. And um, all her kids was beautiful, young, love them, A. Hey. So we, and they was in one room. My auntie and her husband was in another room. And I forgot because the young lady that was staying there, the, the, um, the foster girl, she was younger than me, but she was on her way out. And what I mean by on her way out, foster care, she was, you know, visiting with her dad and shit um, on her way back, moving with him. So she wouldn't be there as much because, you know, you got to go through the process. If you've ever been in foster care, you know there's a process, okay? I've been through foster care. That's coming later. But anywho, so we, you know, she was going through the process. I don't want to get in talking about her business because that ain't about me. But anyways, yeah, that's what happened. So as y'all can see, the shoes is done. I probably got about 12 more pair I got to put away, but I got to stop. Because I don't have no containers for them. So they're like boots and shit that got to go down here. But I don't want nothing on my floor. So, mm-hmm, I'm going to be on Amazon after this video. But now... I'm finna hang up all my fucking clothes. You probably most likely gonna see dresses go here. As you can see, this is the longest part of the closet. Hoodies and shit, sweaters up here, jeans down here and around here. Any extra hangers you gonna catch in the back plan. Tune in. Let's get into it. So, I have my own space a little bit, but my auntie was mean. Now, when I say mean, mind you, when I moved there, I was pregnant. So, I'm already talking to niggas, at least my nigga that was my baby daddy at the time. And he, they cut off all communication with anybody in California. Because they didn't want me to have enough, uh, find a way to get back to California. So, I'm talking about, I'll be on the phone. My auntie will pick up the fucking phone and will listen to my phone calls and be like, get off the phone. Like, damn, like on some spooky shit. Like, you wouldn't even know she was on the phone type shit. Scaring you, you on the phone, got da, 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 da. Get on the phone. Like, damn, motherfucker. Long story short, she ended up unplugging the phone, taking the phone from me. So that cut off a lot of communications. We didn't have no cell phones back then. But I want to say maybe pagers. Bitch like me couldn't afford no motherfucking pager. Fuck out of here. Uh, the living conditions could have been way better. Like, seriously. They got better, but it was a process. And that's because my cousin made sure she stepped in and really lived that shit to the max. Because at one point, we were going to the kitchen and flicked the motherfucking light on roaches every motherfucking where like for real for real the living conditions was not all that my auntie would buy shit and put it up under her bed now and then issue it out if we could have some whatever and what i mean by that i mean shit like that could go up under your bed your pops your chips your, your snacks your zuzu wham whams whatever now one thing i will say is what i learned from that is because i got five kids so when we go grocery shopping you know bitch was getting food stamps we was always eating good <laughs> we plan even when I wasn't, you know? Shit, well, we had some good times and some bad times. But anywho, we was getting them stems on the regular for show, bitch, a lot of crap, all that shit. But what I learned from that is, like, you know, I don't feel like, well, let me put it like this. What I learned from that is, okay, take your good, take your shit or your personal shit and put it up. Okay, yeah, that works. But then it was also when my cousin seen me doing that, she was like, nigga, you don't deprive your kids of no motherfucking food. Fuck wrong with you. You buy some shoes, put that there. This is where it goes. It goes in the motherfucking cabinet, not under your fucking bed. That's one thing that she did not like. Like, the fuck, you know? But I was explaining to her, I learned that from Amy. But what I took from that is that my kids go in there and eat a motherfucking a hot dog, chips, 
and uh, have a soda or you'll make them a full meal and then the motherfuckers don't eat the full meal or they want to just eat up all the chips or all the candy. You kind of get what I'm saying? So I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. So I took it like on one hand when it was happening to me, like that's mean as fuck. You know what I mean? But what I also did was take it and reverse that shit and was like, oh, okay, I get it too. You issue the shit out because you don't want these motherfuckers running around with cavities and shit. The fuck? So I think I, it worked for me a little bit, you know what I mean? It was bittersweet, but it was little shit like that that she used to do that fucking irritate the fuck out of me. Like, the fuck? Why? You know what I mean? So I'm going through that shit. And I ain't gonna lie, I was fast too. Like, real shit. Yes, I did have an abortion. And then after that, I was right the fuck back outside. Because I had a motherfucking cousin that used to be gone. We still gone, but I'm talking about gone out of there. Mm. So, with that being said, she used to, you know, fuck with the niggas, the gang members, and shit like that. And that's how I got connected with the motherfucking streets. Like, seriously. That's when I really, really, really start being outside. No, I'm not blaming it on her. Because, yes, I should have made my own fucking decisions. Bitch, you 13, you out here fucking, you done had an abortion, so you know a little bit about life. What the fuck? You feel me? And I could and when I first moved out there, I had a couple little partners, too. Mm, we finna get into that because one of the partners that I we was cool I forgot how we ended up separating okay and actually we ended up separating because I went to go I ran away and was fucking with this nigga come to find out she got a baby by the nigga we got a baby by the nigga our niggas is, our kids is four months apart you figure tell me? I'm not, no, like, it was deep, y'all. It's way deeper than what niggas even think. And no, I don't know. Oh, I knew she was fucking, no. I don't even know she knew I was doing some shit. You kind of get what I'm saying? That's how, it, it was crazy, but it's deeper than that. Because you're going to be like, the fuck? Some real life Jerry Springer shit. But at the same time, that shit was weird as fuck because... Niggas went through some shit. Like, when I say I, I went through some relationships, I went through a few relationships in my relationships. Uh, that's why I'm at the point where I'm single now due to the fact that I didn't have a good choice in men. Now, I'm not beating up or blaming those men. Don't get me wrong. Because I told y'all about an abusive relationship I had. I had one prior to that. The fuck? Yeah, feel me? And if you was listening to the other story, I had the first nigga... When I was pregnant, when I moved out here, this nigga done kicked me. Wipe the fuck, bitch. That's still abuse. Keep your feet on the motherfucking ground. Oh, fuck out of here. You know what I'm talking about? I'm telling you stories for days. Any motherfucking who. Like I said, a lot led up to that because I was staying with my auntie. My auntie is who I love her. Don't, like I said, I cannot blame a lot of my decisions on her, okay? At the same time, I always, I take accountability and I don't uh, uh, blame anybody. It's taking accountability and understanding where you come from. And I'm speaking this to y'all women now, older, younger, whatever the fuck you are, is I'm letting you know is abuse is not okay no matter what. I don't know fuck who it comes from. Mentally, sexually, physically, none of that. Your parents, your friends, your family, none of that. These niggas, these bitches, none of that shit is okay. And so you have to put yourself with well, motherfuckers be like, oh, you crazy or oh, you fucked up. No, motherfucker, you don't know why the fuck I act like this. You don't know why I act like this because you don't know the story. You don't know what I've been through. You don't know how I was traumatized or how I took certain shit. You feel me? For me to get to here and act the way I act. So don't motherfucking judge a book by its cover. Open up each other and read it like a real shit. And then, okay, under learn to know a motherfucker. So my whole point is going through trauma, don't let the trauma take over you. Like real shit, you know what I mean? Try to take over it. Overcome it, because it can definitely be overcame. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna move to motherfucking Park Hill. Like I said, it's a it's a town in Denver. Okay. A nice area. I have no like because all my kids is from Colorado. So I'm grateful and thankful that I have my kids. Don't get it twisted at all. And I don't regret anything. I made it to this place to where I don't regret anything. So I'm thankful for where I'm at. But was it easy getting to this motherfucker? Fuck no. <laughs> fuck no. Not no, but fuck no. Bitch done been through it with social services. Bitch done been through it with motherfucking goddamn foster care. 
ain't being in and out of the system, a couple of my kids in and out of the system, nigga, I'm telling you, like, I just have to break this fucking cycle. So, by the grace of God, I just feel like the universe is working for me now. Because, shh, you talking about a nigga that was going through it. This was going through it, going through it. Like, real shit. Experience some real life shit. And really what I can do is you could turn this off. I could chill for a minute because these t-shirts, a lot of them I'm going to fold up. I'm great for when I accomplished a lot. But I'm overly tired. I'm not going to wait to bed. And I can't just put stuff away because it's all dusty and shit. So I got to wipe it down first and put it up. And these lights down here, I'm not complaining, but I got to clean all that off. Lights is making it hot too. Some of my white clothes turn yellow. Damn. Okay, y'all. So I finished up halfway a little bit. I still got a gang of shit to go, but don't trip. I need some more motherfucking boxes, so y'all gonna be seeing me order some more shit. But in the meantime, in between time, check this motherfucker is out. I organized a little bit, as you can see. I got lazy, but I did put the elevens with the elevens, the shit with the shit. I still got hella shit. So, I gotta give me some more buckets and shit, but this is what it's looking like. In the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna need you to like, and then I'm gonna need you to comment, and then subscribe. Hey! Stay tuned for the motherfucking channel, because you never know what the fuck I'm gonna drizz now. Drop a comment below, okay? Okay? Because you know I'm drippy. I'm drippy. <laughs> I'm drinking. Hey, I need a bigger closet. Hey, hey, y'all, I do have more closets in the house, though. I do. So, you know. Period. See, I like my new room. Quick. You don't got to show me the room. Okay, but, you, uh, but let me do me. I will say all that. Okay, go. Let me show you what I, what else. Oh, look, look, look. Boo. Tell me that I ain't cute. Tell me that I ain't big cute. So, no, yeah. they didn't see you say, look, 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 boop to that one. Boop, y'all see my little Puma collection? These is tight, huh? No, you don't say it, bro. You Okay, well then, never mind. Fuck. Go ahead and plus this bitch out there. I'm gonna move upstairs. Okay, mom, it's time to close it out. I hate, hey, anybody wanna record no. me? Because I be hating <laughs> niggas that don't want me to finish. Because I got more clothes than them. But alright, y'all, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Stay tuned for the motherfucking channel. And I'm going to this bitch.